Fruits are the enemy in Juicy Realm. In the future of our world, plants have begun to sprout arms and legs and move their way to the top of the food chain. This deliciously fruity roguelite plops you into a crazy world and has you fighting on the side of humans grasping desperately to stay at the top of the food chain. This wonky concept alone got me interested, but the visuals and exciting looking gameplay also play their part. Juicy Realm is not exactly new, with its official release happening back in 2018, but hey, it's on PlayStation now, it's the first time I've heard of it, and I'm pretty excited to actually play it. Welcome to the Multiplayer Minute, where we talk about all of the local multiplayer games that came out this month, and what we have to look forward to next month. For a mere $5, you can become just like Dr. Doofenshmirtz and snag yourself Baloney! Okay, this game probably has nothing to do with Phineas and Ferb, but it does have you playing as a balloon with a face. In fact, you can actually customize your balloon to look however you want. Carly was a big fan of a mustache. Should I be worried? This is a small 2D platformer with 68 levels to work your way through in one to four player co-op. There are bosses to overcome and enemies to avoid, cool zipping lasers that'll pop your balloon. In fact, that was probably my favorite thing is that your balloon pops when you die and you go zipping off screen really fast or something like that. I don't know. I liked the popping when you die. There's cactuses and all sorts of things to poke yourself on. So uh, yeah, the devs were kind enough to give us a copy and I think it's worth $5 for sure. It's nothing revolutionary, but $5 is a good deal. I'll be entirely honest with you. I have zero interest or desire in playing cricket through the ages. But when I found out that the game was made by the same people who made Broforce, I thought, wow, I got to include it. Cricket Through the Ages is a one to two player competitive game that has you playing various different forms of cricket through the ages, I guess. Okay, there are a bunch of other random games like climbing and archery and stuff. This is absolutely a goof game. It's based on stupid physics and features a one button control scheme. So enjoy this if it's your kind of game. One of the only games my family owned back in the day was Star Wars Battlefront 2. And thanks to the Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection, it is now available along with the first one. I honestly have no idea if this is competitive or cooperative or both, but it supports one to two players locally and 64 players online. The graphics are old and I doubt anybody that didn't play it back in the day is gonna pick it up, but I have fond memories of blasting droids and playing as Wookiees and fighting the Jedi and Sith alike. It was a ton of fun back in the day, and if you want to trip down Nostalgia Lane and you also played it, well, here it is, available to you now. Astro Duel 2 is a very pixelated game, but it brings an interesting twist to the top-down space shooter genre, blending it interestingly with a 2D platform fighter. This game has you controlling a spaceship that can seamlessly move from the 2D top-down to the 2D platform fighter. Your character will actually hop out of the spaceship and start moving around in that 2D area. The game itself doesn't look great visually, but understanding the little twist definitely got me a little more intrigued. It supports both a versus mode with up to six players and a co-op mode for one to three players. There are fully destructible environments, different fighters to choose from, and various items to help you outplay your friends. Again, the dev was kind enough to give us a code for this one, but we haven't tried it ourselves yet. If zombies are your thing, then maybe you will enjoy Zombie Wood Survival Shooter. This game takes place on Hollywood movie sets and has you playing as a stuntman turned zombie slayer as you blast your way through zombies with more than 30 different weapons. It supports up to two players, though I'm not sure if it will actually let you play the campaign co-op. To my understanding, the co-op is more of a survival wave after wave type of thing, but I could be mistaken there. If you know any games we've missed, then definitely let me know in the comments, but now let's talk about April. I have never really enjoyed any sports, but Goons, Legends, and Mayhem has given me some slight interest in hockey, albeit the digital kind. This is a hectic arcade hockey beat-em-up game. It looks like a ton of fun if you like competing against your friends. It gives you the option to work cooperatively or face off against each other. There are three classes to choose from. Each of them have their own play style. 
It supports up to six players and has some wonky wild stuff happening in its variety of ice rinks. It even has a story mode, though I believe that's solo only. The 2017 arcade beat-em-up Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Wrath of the Mutants will be making its way to all platforms with three additional stages and six bosses to play through. I've got little interest to play this one, but maybe it is perfect for you and your friends on April 23rd. Rumble Club is not a local multiplayer game, but it will be on PC and mobile, and I don't know anybody of a decent age that doesn't have their own mobile device, so if you want to enjoy fighting with your friends in some nonsensical battle royale in a 20 player, yeah, 20 players, battle royale, nonsensical physics-based combat, this one might be for you. There's uh, fun gadgets to use in the fights and you can customize your character. This will also be available on April 23rd. The only new game announced this month that I came across was Smurfs Party Village. This is the type of game that is right down Carly's alley. It's a Mario Party-esque game filled with 50 different mini games to play locally with up to four players. There is an adventure mode with more to do, but I believe that's solo only. We have played a few games like this from Mario Party to My Singing Monsters Playground and Rabbit's Party of Legends. They always tend to be a blast to play together and with friends, even if it's just for a little bit. You can pick this one up everywhere on June 5th. Couch co-op games are our specialty, so if you need some more games to play with your family, your friends, or your significant other, click on this video to see our review of Ember Knights. This was one of our favorite games we played last year, and you're not going to want to miss it. So click on it. I can't wait to see you over there. Love you guys. Y'all are awesome.